What is up, everybody? It is February 2nd, 2023 in the Big Bear Lake, California area, and I thought we would do a walk of the village. A lot of you have wanted an in-depth look at the village, so we're gonna do that. And if you guys like this video, once you watch it, please hit the like and subscribe button. I'm doing my best to try to grow this channel and see where it takes us all together. This YouTube journey has been incredible so far. I never imagined any of this would ever happen, what's happening in my life, and uh, so proud to have you guys along with, with me for the ride. So please, let's uh, hit the like and subscribe button. And let's take a walk of the whole village. Let's do it. I kind of feel weird holding my camera. I feel like a, like a weirdo, but I am a weirdo, so that's okay. So one of the hotels, you guys, that I talk about a lot, that I really like, it's where I used to stay when I moved, uh, before I moved up here, probably five times in the few years before I moved up here is the Robin Hood Resort. So what I'm gonna do here, guys, is I am going to walk on the street and do like this side first, and then come back around and do that side. So we got the Valero gas station here at the end. Got Big Bear Liquor and Market here. So yeah, so this is the village, folks. This is where a lot of people come do shopping and buy some Big Bear trinkets, have some great food. Um, just enjoy your time together with your family at nighttime. The Christmas lights are phenomenal, or just winter lights, we'll call them. I always forget about this, this Mexican grill here. El Jacelito. La comida aquí yo creo es muy, 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 muy bien. Mexicana comida es más rico de todos, yo creo. Okay, as I said, we're gonna walk in the street. Or actually, you know what, we're gonna, so right there's the, the Big Bear Brewing Company. Um, they've got something called avocado bombs, which are phenomenal, but I don't really go in there much, only because it's a place that serves a lot of beer. I know I don't have to drink if I go into a place, but I'm, I'm, I'm coming up on my 10 years sober, you guys, from alcohol. Peppercorn Grill. See what this says real quickly. If you guys want to uh, read this menu, just hit pause right now. I'll give you five seconds to pause it because we got to get going. Oh yeah, Big Bear Village, guys. Here, let's get down on the street so I have a better view of these places. I'm glad I'm I'm doing this walk because I would always forget a lot of these stores in here. Big Bear Tattoo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's just take a look at. So there's all these properties here, guys. I don't, yeah, these are all for sale. I was hoping they would be rentals, but maybe they have some, some rentals. Wow, this one's only a hundred. Oh no, sorry, one million one hundred ninety-five thousand. I thought I just said one hundred ninety-five thousand. As I said, at nighttime, this place is so cute, so lit up, so beautiful. We're gonna get to all these other spots over here. But this is Teddy Bear Restaurant, right here. It's a really, according to a lot of people, it's a really fantastic restaurant let me give lee lee shaver a shout out because he referred me here i gotta be honest the first time i ate there it was just i just wasn't a fan so i'm hoping next time i go there it'll be different that's one thing i told you guys about big bear at least from my experience is the consistency is not there in a lot of these spots sadly Here's a little shop here. And there's Teddy Bear Restaurant. Super cool. Now let's see here. What's this shop called here? It's definitely not called Help Wanted, but it's a shop. <laughs> Big Bear Noodle Bar. Jasper's Barbecue, guys. Oh yeah. We do have a theater right here, but we'll get to that when we come back down the other side. Jasper's barbecue. Guys, I need to eat there. 
I'm really sad we had a lobster place and, and it only survived about a year here. It was so yummy. We've got a barber shop right here. I forgot about that place with the barber on the hill. Let's see here. What do they got here? What do they got here? Wings, jewelry, and gifts. Oh, look, guys. So Wings Jewelers, and then they've got other shops over here. So there's a lot of stuff like this where you actually walk into a building, and then there's like five or six different stores inside. Wow, never knew this even existed back here. If you guys go to Fire Rock across the street for food, I'll tell you guys about that place when we get over there. Phenomenal burgers. House of Jerky, boar, buffalo, ostrich, venison, and turkey. Very cool, guys. Very, very cool. Okay, let's see here. We got these fire pits that at nighttime are fired up and you see a lot of people spending time around them. It's really, really, really cool. We're gonna, so this is the classic queue. The, no, the, the copper queue. The classic queue is actually a place uh, that I used to play play pool at, the Copper Q. Uh, All play. right. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, look at how cute! Look at how cute! What's this place called? United Wood Craftsman. It's open. Looks like they have a bunch of cool stuff in that store, guys. I'm sure you can kind of tell from looking at the front. But as I said, we need to step further away from the. From the building so we can kind of get a good view i know this isn't helping much but it is what it is doing the best i can for you guys bare essentials but you know what we're going to take a look at the sign for you guys once again if you guys pause it here you can zoom in so I'll leave it here for about five or 10 seconds so you guys can pause it and zoom in on it. Very cool. And we got the gift shop here. Let's see here, this is Bear Essentials gift shop. Right on, right on, right on. They got a bunch of cool stuff in here, look guys. Oh, really cool stuff. Cool jewelry, sweatshirts, collectible shot glasses look at those socks those are freaking neat but yeah i like shops like that a lot okay let's see here why am i going over here now scenic gifts and souvenirs let's window shop real quickly i just want you guys to get the full view of the front and then kind of take a guess what they actually have here. I know it's hard to see through these windows, but. Jewelry, just cool stuff. Wow, this is a really, really, really cool store. Right on, guys, right on. So let me go back out in the street to get a view of the building. Bear gift shops, scenic souvenirs. Hope you guys are enjoying this freaking video. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying making it for you guys. I need the exercise too. So this is great. So this is the, the, the brown bear shop. Let's see here. We're just gonna not, not really go in, but we're just gonna take a, a small little peek. Look at this is a big store. Big store. Huge. See what they got in this shop. Just all the standard stuff, guys. But it's it's all really, really quality stuff. I mean, not the sorry, not the best best priced. I'm sure because it is the village and we are a tourist town. But this town makes a lot of money off the tourist stuff. But once again, we are a, we are a tourist town, so. Never knew about this place I'm pointing at right now. Never even heard of it. So I'm really excited to know that we have a frozen yogurt stand. 
or a frozen yogurt place in town. It's called Berry Bliss. And this is a new store called Mountain Gifts. We're gonna just take a peek in there as well. We're about a quarter of the way done with the village. We're on the corner of Pine Knot and Village Drive. Oh, they have a replica of me right when you walk in the front door. Look at that. It's totally me. Let's just see here. Just a quick, quick little view in here. I, out of respect for people and probably not wanting to be on TV or videos, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. But we're going to stay here at this corner for a moment. Let all this traffic go. So this is Village Drive. This is one of the shortcuts I tell you guys through through the village. Pergola. I've never eaten here, but I would like to. Let's go check out the menu real quickly, guys. Once again, I'll give you guys a few seconds to pause it and zoom in. Some of these other spots that we do hit up, guys, um, as I said, you walk inside the building and there's like five or six other stores inside. So that's what we're gonna do. But yeah, Pergola looks like it has a nice patio. Looks like a very comfortable, cozy place to eat. All right, we've done 25% of the village. Let's do some more. Let's do some more. All these trees are lit up at night. It's so beautiful, you guys. That's where we just came from down there. We're gonna be hitting up that side shortly. Big open lot right here. Look at, still we have some Christmas presents right there. That's so cool, man. So cool, so cool. And let's see here. So this place over here on the left, it used to be, it used to be the the cave, but now it's called Village Sports Bar. And they've got all this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sports mem uh, paraphernalia. And they've got other like, you know, you can go in there, get some drinks, of course. It's a sports bar. So what else are you supposed to get in there? But they've got, uh, I've heard good things about it, but I really do miss the cave because the cave was like a really great great venue and a lot of spots or a lot of great bands used to play here i did a live video for for you guys this person's on their phone hopefully it's not like one of those commercials where they're smoking too much and then run me over here's jack in the crack of course of course of course a horse is a horse yeah we don't have really any great venues left in town just so you guys know, the the um, my friend's band who I recorded at that place, um, he's got two other bands which are just that much even better. He's in the Cottonmouth Kings. He's a drummer for the Cottonmouth Kings. He's a fantastic drummer. Right here, Big Bear Superstore. His name's Dylan Stavish, and he plays bass for the Twenty Dollar Profits. He's a young man, just super, super cool, super cool dude. I dig him a lot. But we recorded him playing live a couple years back. Look at how big this store is. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. So let's just get a quick, quick peek in here. Awesome, this is awesome, awesome, awesome. I know we're doing this quickly, but I just wanted you guys to get a sense and then come figure it out on your own. See what's going on here. Okay, so we just came from over here. I hope I'm doing an okay job. If I'm doing an okay job, please hit like and please subscribe, you guys. I would very much appreciate it. Okay, Lemuse, Vintage Boutique and Estate Jewelry. And then, let's, let's see, we're gonna point the camera over here so we don't bug people. So let's hop in the street real quick so we can village mall entrance. Okay, so there's an you know we're gonna go into this building real quickly and see what access we get here. As a kid, I used to play at the arcade that was here. I don't know if it's still here. Yeah, just 
just I know we're not going into most of these shops, but let's just check it out if we can. Very cool. Not much we can see. Oh, look at that stuff. Look at that stuff. It's just super cool. All right. Let's go inside this door. Okay. It doesn't look like much is going on in here, does it? The muse. Ah, I really feel like I'm doing a horrible job for you guys, but I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I really am. Here we go. Here's a little map for you guys of this little building here. I'm assuming it's all updated, but you never know. It is Big Bear. All right, let's go. UPS store. Dr. Emily, Big Bear Sports Chiropractics. Santa Land. Here's the chiropractor in here. Or was. Big Bear Grappling Club. I know those guys. Look at all these martial arts belts. That's cool that they actually have their grappling club here. It used to be uh, down the street. All right, let's see. We got all of these brochures, you guys. Well, I'm recording you too. All right, let's see here. Special effects, full salon. Very cool, very cool. And then what do we got over here? The bath workshop. I'm sure we can get here from the front, of course. This is just kind of a, a back way in. Santa land. Very, very, very cool, man. We have, we have so much stuff here, guys, that I never even realized existed in here, really. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so there's another entrance right there. Village Mall entrance. So let's see. Cappuccino, sandwiches. I need to check this place out. So we just went through the little mall. On the other side of the street, there's an even cooler looking mall with smaller shops too. It's really neat. Look at all, oh, this is Village Music. It moved over here. I'm excited to check it out, sweet. So we just gotta ca capture the front of these stores again because we didn't get these. So we came from where it's that sign on the wall where it says like something arcade. Yeah, let's just take a look here. We're gonna walk in in the street here. I think it'll be easier. Hopefully we don't get hit. Okay, chil children's boutique. Oh, a, a, a kid's boutique, guys. For all you folks out there, all you parents. Oh, look at how cute these clothes are. Look at how cute. I know we don't have much uh, much time to go into every one of these stores, but you guys will be able to figure it all out for yourselves. As I said, I just want you guys to see what we have available here. Hollywood Studios, I wonder what that is there. Interactive Movie Museum. Oh, that's cool, I'm gonna have to check that out sometime. Yeah, let's, let's see here. You guys saw the UPS store. And then this is a new shop in town, Queen Bee. The owner seems, or the owners, it's a family affair. Seems really, 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 really great. We're gonna walk up there just to walk by the, by the store. As I said, we're not gonna go in. Hey, it's deja vu. So they've got raw honey, honeycomb, honey sticks, pollen, just everything. Everything, everything, everything. I really want you guys to come check out this place. Once again, I really want to help the people who seem like they care about the tourists more than they care about the dollar. Those are the people I'm going for the most. Here's a P.O. Box place. Of, uh, of, oh, that's the, the UPS store. Okay, cool. And then look at this. Wow, this is a big, big place. This is that, that Hollywood store. Very, very, very cool. 
I this place existed over here. Okay, so let's see here one more time. We'll get the name of it Hollywood Studios by Santa Land. It's freaking great, guys. Let's continue our tour. -y. I hope I'm doing good for you guys. It's really hard to do this because I want to go inside each store, but if one store tells me that I can't, like, then I'll. I'll be like, if I can't do them all, I'm not gonna do one. Village Mall Boutique or un Unique Shops. So let's see what's inside the Village Mall Unique Shops. Okay, we already went in there then. I thought this was on the other side. We just went through here. Okay. Because it's so big, we're gonna do the Village Music Shop from across the street, but guys, it's huge in there. They've got a lot of good stuff in there. And uh, yeah, I would suggest if you guys are into music when you're up here, please, please stop by there, show them some love. The owners are super, super cool as well. It's a great place. It's a really, really, really great place. So that's Village Music. And now we're gonna walk over to Oakside Restaurant. So this is Oakside Restaurant right here. And Oakside is an awesome, awesome restaurant. It's fantastic food, you guys. Fantastic food. Look, living or sleeping overnight in a vehicle on a trail in this parking lot is prohibited. So does that mean that it's allowed in other parking lots? That's interesting. Look at this place, guys. Stand up here. Take a nice look. Beautiful restaurant. It really is beautiful. They've got some snow plowing to do, though, I'll tell you that. So this is a huge parking lot behind here. This is one of the shortcuts that I take when the village is com completely packed. But yeah, let's check this out. And uh, maybe they have a menu over here that I can show you guys. They've got patio dog rules. Let's see. If... How are you doing, sir? We're good, how are you? Doing well, thank you. Let's see. Um, okay, they are open, but yeah, it's a two-story establishment. They have phenomenal food here. I think you guys would enjoy it. Unfortunately, they didn't have any menus outside, but it's basically your standard American food. Once again, Oakside, one of my top five restaurants in Big Bear. Here's the parking lot. As I said, there's a shortcut. If, if, if traffic is backed up to here or even further, then you can just cut through here, go to the back street, make a left and bypass all the traffic and you literally won't hit any cars. All right, so we're basically done with the village. Well, that one side, but you know what? We're just gonna walk down to the end. And you guys can fast forward through all of this. I just wanted to go to the stoplight where it says you're leaving the village because if I start the video, I want to end it properly. I want to do the whole thing. I don't want to shortcut anything. So this is a place that I want to stay. Unfortunately, the, uh, the other day when I looked it up for my wife and I because I, ooh, nice gloves. I don't want to take them. Someone probably forgot them. Um, when I checked out the price for weekday, you guys, I couldn't believe it. It was like four times as much as it used to be. It was $1,100 per night. It looks really nice from the outside. When I worked for Domino's delivering pizzas, I'd, I'd been inside a couple of them and they were pretty nice, but <laughs> no more than 250 a night nice, I'll tell you that. What's it called? Okay, it's called Blue Green Vacations. The club at Big Bear Village. Yeah, it was $1,100 for Sunday and Monday night each. So $2,200 plus. These places have tacked on, especially uh, recently, you guys, the most usurious resort fees and like extra resort fees and like like another name for a fee. It's There was one place I was looking at up here that it was like 160 a night. I wanted to stay two nights and the total was going to be almost $1,000. Does that make any sense? 320 for the room, and then you're paying 700 more in like other fees. Like, come on, Big Bear, this is why 15% of, or less of people ever return, because you guys do that to people. 
let's show these people love because without these people on on this channel and who come and visit we don't get to live here it's the people on this channel and others who come up here who create the jobs for us to be here and the way we thank them is charging them eleven hundred dollars for a place that shouldn't probably be more than like 150 a night but it is what it is it is a tourist town it just frustrates me because i'm a fan of this town so you know it's like do they want people to actually come up here and spend time if they're spending that much for their lodging how on earth are they going to spend money for just trinkets and souvenirs they're not this old german deli has really great great reviews That is the front, I guess. Delicious. Delicatessen. All right, guys, once again, I hope I'm doing a decent job. I'm, I'm, I'm super horrible at doing stuff like this, like the whole walking thing, and especially when it comes to recording uh, these shops because I want to make sure that I can get you guys as much info as possible. But as I said, what you guys can do is if you see something I recorded that I didn't talk much about it, just look it up online and uh, I got, my goal here is to at least get you guys the information of what's up here in the village because I drive through it all the time all right guys here's the Elks Lodge I used to be a member at the Newport Harbor Elks Lodge when I was in my early 20s I became an elk my grandpa sponsored me I used to to go with him every single week to go have some drinks and Watch him sing because he's an incredible or was it an incredible singer? Let me zoom in here. Yeah, I went to my friend Artie. He had a, a beautiful wedding reception here. It was just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just love it. All right, let's see. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. They do bingo, of course. It's an elk slush. I was definitely the youngest elk at the Newport Harbor Elks Lodge. I think it was 1776 was the lodge number. Look at these cute snowmen. Look at those two. They're twins. Hey, they're twins. So this is a nice walk, you guys. Right now it's 50 degrees, so snow is melting rapidly. So just uh, keep that in mind when you guys come up. But it looks like next week we got some really cold temperatures coming back without any snow. But on the 13th and 14th, it appears that we could have a good little snowstorm coming. So keep your fingers crossed, guys. Unfortunately, that's halfway through the month, halfway through the snowiest month of the year. But uh, yeah, we're going to cross here. This is the end of the village or the beginning, however you want to look at it. Obviously, you got a Chevron right across the street here. Probably the most expensive gas station in town. Um, it's, I, it, I'm not trying to hurt any locals who own it, but I wouldn't stop there. If you keep on, if you make a left there and go that way, go around, you'll hit Valero. That one's probably the, the second most. You want to keep on going until you hit 7 Eleven, because that's where you will hit some much less expensive or ch cheaper gas, you could say. Village Pizza, it's my favorite pizza joint up here. Um, once again, guys, it's been very hit and miss for me, sadly. We got the coffee and tea exchange here. And then a nice little liquor store. But I'm not much of a liquor store guy. Once again, on June 23rd, I'll have 10 years sober. Not from everything. I was, I was smoking that green stuff for a long time because that's the industry I've been in and out of for a long time. Working for big, big legal conglomerates, going around and going to different of what's called dispensaries and promoting these other companies to get them to purchase these companies' products. And then I'd get paid a percentage of every single order. So it's not an easy industry when it comes to the competition. There's a lot of competition out there. So you know what I forgot to do? Uh, that sign on the other side says, welcome, uh, welcome to the village or something. I'm not gonna walk back. 
monkey shines, ear piercing, body piercing, or maybe not. They used, oh yeah, definitely body piercing. It says on the door. And then this place right here, Tropicali, is, has a lot of amazing reviews. I've been there once, but it's just too healthy for me. It's just not, not, not my, my kind of joint. But a lot of people just rave about this place. So it seems like a darn good spot to come get some food and that type of stuff. Tropicali. Parking lot's always full like that. So yeah, hopefully you guys give it a shot. As I said, it's just not, it's, it's not my, my type of thing, but when I was there, the staff was so incredible. I think they pride themselves on really, really great, great customer service. Once again, it's called Tropicali. Um, yeah, as I said, they're very, 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 very well known there. Okay, this place in my, in my, uh, um, I've got a playlist of all the lodging I've stayed at. Every place I've stayed up here, probably 10, 11 places I've stayed in their biggest rooms they offer. This place, I stayed in their like thousand square foot room. It's in the corner. I was on the second or third floor. It's, it's got like there and on that side was all the room. It was freaking humongous. And I'll tell you what this place is called in a minute. It changes names pretty often. But as I said, this is on my playlist, so you guys can actually check it out. I recorded the whole place like I do all these places. It's called The Lodge at Big Bear Lake. It's a Holiday Inn Resort. And they had, before COVID, this place called Stillwell. It's a restaurant here, or a bar, bar slash restaurant got really great reviews. I had heard wonderful things about it, but I had never been in. I think I stayed here either shortly before COVID or shortly after COVID. They do have a pool down there past those handicap signs. There's a pool right back there. Right, here's another view of that place where they charged, tried to charge 1100 for per night. So the total bill was just under three grand for two nights guys, which included the resort fees and everything. It's beautiful, it really is, but uh, unless you just have money to throw away, that's what I call throwing away money. I don't want you guys to throw away money. I want you guys to enjoy your stay. It's pretty cool. From the inside of the hotel, it's got a little bridge that takes you to a gazebo. Go in there and just chill. Let's walk up to the gazebo and check it out real quickly, huh? All right, let's see here. Hey there, buddy. Hi, little buddy. Ah, right, here we go, gazebo. We've seen one, you've seen them all. Look at this. This looks like a little amphitheater. What's going on down here? I think they might have concerts here, maybe. That's super cool, guys. I never realized that. You see what happens when you walk through here? There's a little pond down there. That's great. That's absolutely great. All right, this place is called Stella Luna. It's a fairly new place. My wife has come here and gotten some really good fruit smoothies at Stella Luna. All right, let's see. So we're gonna do a little speed by this side. Studio Podic Fusion Juice and Coffee Bar. Yes, and I've gotten something there also. There's a lot of smoothies up here and really good juice bars, you guys. But yeah, breakfast bowls, fruits, juices, vegan, smoothies, salads, Big Bear Activity Center. Let's see what's going on over there in the Activity Center. Let's take a look. 
it's looks like really nothing nothing going here it's a nice little two-story building though looks pretty dead doesn't it guys okay pop culture replicas superhero toys and more so let's just take a little walk by oh very cool you guys they got a bunch of marvel stuff in here i'm not into the whole comic thing much but i think you guys would in, oh it's, the kids would love this place kids would love this place this is what it's called superhero toys and more very cool you guys hey it's dan Aykroyd. what's up what's up buddy right here down this street where it says atm if you guys want amazing bar food that's called murray's murray's bar murray's saloon very 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 good food and i used to sing karaoke there it's a, a pretty local place, but uh, um, with regards to it being a local place, very friendly locals there. And then this place is called the Nut House. Let's check it out. The Village Nut House. <laughs> Look at this. This is cool. This is super cool. Let's see what's going on. Oh man, there's so many shops in here that I haven't checked out that I need to check out. Oh my gosh, guys, freaking awesome. One of these days we'll go inside these stores. Maybe we'll do like one at a time, who knows? All right, the Village Sweet Shop, guys. Obviously it's a candy store. Look at that. Oh, look at all the taffy just sitting right there, ready for me to go get some gelato and everything oh man it's making me hungry making me hungry oh man you gotta love this and then this is the place i stay away from because it's got it's a bar and i've heard it gets kind of rowdy whiskey dave's but for those of you who want to go out listen to live music get a little Hamski, have fun. Whiskey Dave's is a good place to go. But as I said, I've heard it's got, a, it's a bit rowdy. And being 42 years old, I'm really over this type of stuff. And in, in Big Bear, we have a, a big problem with alcohol and drug use up here, especially that stuff called Crystal. It's really, 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 really a, a horrible thing that is killing our town here. Um, it's a lot more, more prevalent than the media would want you guys to know. It's really, really, really sad, you guys. Wine and top, let's see here. Barrel 33, what is this place all about? Wine, craft brews, good eats. And then let's see here. Let's see here, what do we got over here? Uh, mucha chamlada, much, mucha chachos. Cocina, oh, it's a, a Mexican restaurant. Fantastic, fantastic. So we've got Whiskey Dave's and then a, a couple doors down, another hidden little Mexican joint that I would love to check out. Got another sweet store right here. North Pole, North Pole Suites. It's a beautiful building. Very, very, very welcoming. They got ice cream here too. It looks like they've got a, a pickup window. You can, you can order right here when it's super, super packed, super cool. And they've got another one of these shops, North Pole Fudge Factory or whatever it is, just right down the street. We're gonna be walking right by it. Masala Craft, I'm assuming that is like Indian food maybe. I could be very, very, very wrong, but I'm assuming it is. Big on Bears, Gift and Apparel, Royal Thai Bistro. My wife likes that place. Let's see. Once again, guys, gift shop after gift shop after gift shop so many gift shops this one looks like a little more high-end products to get to give you guys a sense where we're at in the village this is where we're at we're across from like jack and the crack but yeah royal type type bistro one thing i left my sunglasses here and i came back 30 minutes later and they're like oh no i, I didn't see them oh they're not here and they're prescription so why would anybody want to take them Okay, room to room, another an, another gift shop. We got candles, bath and body stuff, cards, home 
home decor gourmet stuff um, wild coyote gallery which is I've heard really really good things about that place beautiful artwork um, oh I'm jealous my bike I get my bike back next week guys and then Tango one of you guys a, a friend of mine on this channel he is going to come ride with me so I'm looking forward to that so let's see body van or coop Kuban Kuban very 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 cool and now we've got the leather depot there's there's a few shops down down that street but we're not gonna hit that street yet we're gonna keep on going down here and just do the main big bear village the main stuff over here so let's see what we got going on here there's a jewelry store crafts and stuff like like that this one is called the leather depot sorry i'm going by so freaking fast you guys i'm not trying to it's not intentional okay so this is one of those upstairs mall places 20 shops upstairs village fair 20 shops upstairs so let's just let's just see let's just see let's just see um How you doing, sir? How's it going? They got stuff on the walls here. Got everything in here. Wow, they got, wow. Guys, this is really, really neat. We're just gonna do a quick browse about. I mean, wow, they got really neat stuff in here, guys. I'm gonna keep the camera down just in case. I don't wanna be that guy. Look at all these little shots. Look at everything they got in here. This is great. Oh man, I wish I had my wallet with me because I'd surprise my wife with some cool stuff. Guys, they have a lot of neat stuff in here. I know I'm moving quickly, but it's it's gonna give you guys a chance to see at least some of the things that we've we've got up here. 20 shops up here, it's incredible. I mean, guys, there's everything up here. Everything you could ever dream of. Let's see here. Some more sports memorabilia stuff. Very cool. Oh, look at those lamps, very cool. Get those giant, that giant's lamp out of here. We're Dodgers fans around here. I know there's some Angels fans, but I feel bad for them. So I grew up in Newport Beach where the Angels are just down the street from us. But I grew up a Dodger fan because my dad had season tickets. We had them right behind home plate for, thir for 35 years. Wow, so much neat stuff in here. Look at all these beautiful crosses. Oh, wow. This is great. Then you have cap guns next to all these crosses, it's so hilarious. But yeah, look at this stuff, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This would be right up my wife's alley in here. <laughs> Just gorgeous. Right. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm like, I'm getting lost in here. There's, guys, there's so much stuff in here. This is incredible, incredible. see here so what do we got going on this side pretty much the same same type of thing guys there's just so much over here there is so much if you guys come in here it's a huge huge shop here's candies jerkies oh man just awesome a bunch of books in here wow wow as i said forgive me for doing this tour up here quickly but I just wanted to give you guys a sense of what's up here. You can find anything you want in here. Literally, you could probably find anything you want. I mean, everything you want. Look at all this native stuff. Wow. Wow. It smells so good in here, too. This is a great shop. This is a great shop. It's one of my favorite ones in here so far. Bunch of dream catchers right there. Oh, this is great. This is terrific. All right, so we're just gonna take a quick peek inside here. There we go. Some some Christmas stuff. Some more little just 
Just some clothing and some purses and stuff like that over there. What is all this? Look at all this stuff. That's really cool. The 12 gauge coasters. <laughs> That's really cool. So let's see here. Okay, we're almost through this whole place already. As I said, it's got 20 little stores up here. How cool is that? Look at that Viking helmet. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we are going to head out of here. All right. Very, very beautiful. Great shops, you guys. Fantastic. Absolutely. Fantastic. Okay. Let's make like Tom and Cruise, guys. Just take take one last look over here. Yeah, they got they got it, guys. If you guys come and shop here, they have everything in here. Absolutely everything. Thank you again. Take care. All right. Let's see. Walking down the steps here. Oh yeah. All right, guys. So we have accomplished that. I was worried that it was gonna be too, a huge struggle because it's a lot of little shops but we did it and then over here is another gift shop let's let's see what, what this shop's called it's oh it's part of the leather depot again and then the toy gallery very cool look at they got all all, all all these cute cute toys in here but yeah this is called the toy gallery they got a cool pirate tarp up there Another shop right here. Let me see what this shop's called. Let's see, let's let's turn around. Go back here. Paisley Boutique and the Toy Gallery. Great spots, you guys. This whole section right across from the Village Sports Bar. This is where I would suggest you guys come do your shopping. And then here we have the shirt shanty. <laughs> very, very, very cool. Souvenirs, wood carvings, gifts, jewelry as usual. Just typical what like every store has up here uh, let's see so now we're headed back the last half of the tour let's see here. yeah the shirt shanty as i said it's we've got gifts t-shirts jewelry obviously they got sunglasses stuff like that everything that you guys would want up here all right so we've already done these shops across the street as I said, we're gonna walk in the street so we can get a better view. Himalayan restaurant, cuisine from Nepal and India. They actually have a little head shop back there too. For those of you uh, who like to partake. Very, very inexpensive stuff. Very, very nice. It's a good restaurant there. The AV, it's a pretty rowdy bar. Not my cup of tea but I know a lot of people who enjoy going there and having a, a, a couple drinks. Oh, here's, here we go, Ben and Jerry's. But yeah, that's the, the AV nightclub. The Bombay Bar and Lodge, I, I, or Lounge, I almost, I almost passed it. So you got a bar there too, but yeah, Ben and Jerry's. Oh yeah, so we're gonna just check, check it out through here. See what's going on here. Ben and Jerry's, guys. Go get yourself a nice milkshake or something in here. The store next to us here, not a fan of the owner. I, I was like, long story. I was feeling like I was, he was trying to really rip, rip me off with a business investment. I mean, like rip me off. So I'm not even gonna show you that store. Oh, screw it. You guys need to know what's up here. I don't want to do that. That's 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 not right. Two wrongs don't make a right, you guys. So I wish them the best. I really, really, really do, but uh, not with my money. Once again, we're going by the Copper Q. It's a that's a beautiful little shop. Uh, they have coffee and bagels and quiche and salads and cooking classes. Also, guys, wow, they got cooking classes. ETC artisans. So let's see. Oh, look at some of this stuff in the window here. Beautiful. Someone's painting in there right now. Very, very, very cool. 
But look at that eagle made out of wood like that. That's, I don't know if you can like really, really tell, but it's just, it's guys, nice, awesome stuff. Big shop. That's can a, I help you, sir? Oh, I'm just recording. Taking pictures of the art. For my YouTube channel, yeah. Yeah, it's called Big Bear Weather and More. And uh, I try to get all our tourist friends, thousands and thousands of them up here to spend money to keep us all living up here. Well, if you just come in and tell people, we can help you with it. Well, you know what? I was on a little time time thing. It, is there anything about your shop you would like to tell me? Because it's that, all done by local artists. All local? All local. Is there any, anything special you could show me quickly? picture of that eagle so remarkable it is so someone up here made that this gal right in here she did yeah wow yeah wow right. wow yeah have, have you ever seen my channel big bear weather and more yeah, i drive yeah. around and I, I record all our storms pre during and after for eight years i've never missed one not yet i haven't but i will I'm Nick, by the way. What is your name? Jennifer. Jennifer. Pleasure to meet you, Jennifer. Right. Do you own the place? I do. You can come in anytime and take any pictures. Really? Yeah. Can I just do a quick browse as then? As long as you're not going to reproduce them for sale. <sighs> of course not. Because then I'd have to kill you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, these are the people we love. Okay. <laughs> Let me come in real quickly. And she's not joking. No. no. <laughs> It'd be my pleasure to be killed by you, Jennifer. Uh, there's 42 artists in here. 42 artists in here? And they all live within a 40 mile radius of Big Bear. Okay. Within four miles. Wow, yeah. wow. nice, yeah. nice. Just across the pond. Guys, this is beautiful stuff in here. Thank you. Well, thank you. This, do you, do you take photos locally? Um, I've been known to, but we have about how many photographers in here that don't do 20? Uh, we only have, uh, you're number seven. Oh, okay, so yeah. a handful. Let me know, like, uh, if there's anything I can do to, to help and promote this because I have a, a, a YouTube channel up here called Big Bear Weather and More the that, that has a huge local, outreach. But it's local artists. Okay. Yeah, and it's all uh, hand done things. There's nothing in here made in China. Okay. Yeah, Fant that's our one rule. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, some some of these are just incredible. I mean, just some of this work is amazing. Thank you, Jennifer, for letting me come welcome. through here. What's Very your Nicholas. Nicholas. Nick. Do you go by Nick or Nicholas? Nick. Okay. Nick. If you're mad at me and you're going to kill me, Nicholas. Oh. <laughs> but yes, um, as I said, you can uh, you you can see what my channel is all about, and uh, it's 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 really to to help all of them to find their way through our towns, and uh, and I I always thank them because of them creating the jobs up here, people buying artwork, we get to live here, and so I'm I'm. Um, I'm one of the ones who's extremely grateful for them. And I have 15,000 subscribers. Yeah, yeah, so Jennifer, you're awesome. Sir, I'm Nick. Nick, I'm John, good to meet John, you. John, very nice to meet you too, right. sir. Thank you guys. Oh guys, this is great. Look at how big this place is. And guys, this is all local artisans here. I'm just a rookie, it's my first day. <laughs> yeah. Well, you seem like you're doing good for your first day, bro. <laughs> Look at all, guys, this is all local artwork. Within 40 miles is the furthest artist who creates for this place. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm telling you, I am so glad she pulled me in the shop. I thought originally she was pulling me in to get upset with me for, for taking pictures but I'm glad she was not. Oh my goodness gracious. Guys, this is incredible. This is incredible. Look at everything in here. All right, we're gonna make like jelly and jam. Gorgeous. Our eagles up here, just spectacular. Thank you again. You have a great day, John. Thanks for coming in. Oh, my, pl my pleasure. Right, yeah. I'm super stoked you guys let me come in. Jennifer is a very accommodating owner. I can, I can, I can tell. I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> and obviously someone who cares about our community deeply, and that, that means everything to me. I moved up here from Newport Beach eight, eight years ago. Um, my mom had a house in Lake Arrowhead from when I was 10 to 15 years old, and although I've tr traveled the world, my best memories are in the San Bernardino National Forest, and I had to move up here. Well, I moved up here from Chicago. That's where my dad was born. 52 years ago. Wow. 52 years ago? Yeah. 
What's your secret? Where's the potion? <laughs> I'm a part-time hermit. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> well, Jennifer, hey, one more time, thank you. Thank you. Guys, come and see Jennifer and uh, tell her you're a friend of this channel and, uh, and she'll charge you double. <laughs> no, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for, for this opportunity. An artist in action, you guys. This is amazing. How are you doing? Good, how are you doing? This is a local artisan. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at how beautiful that is. I don't want to interrupt her. But this is beautiful. Look at that. Spectacular. Hello. Hi. I didn't want to interrupt you while you're painting your Picasso there. Thank you. Thank you for sharing with us. Hello. Guys, this is this is incredible. Incredible. There's that eagle made of wood. All right. Well, I hope you guys come and support this shop big time because this is definitely as local as it gets. And we need as much support, you guys, as humanly possible. This town thrives because of wonderful people like this who are so selfless, who bust their butts to make you guys have a great, great experience up here. So... Fantastic, fantastic. And remember, the owner's name is Jennifer. Let me get a good shot of the front of the store. That was cool that they pulled me in like that. As I said, I, I was worried that she was gonna give me a little bit of crap for uh, for recording. Yeah. But she didn't, she was super cool. Bear skins. All things Big Bear. Of course, all things Big Bear. I know the window is reflective, it's crazy. And yeah, these are just some some more of the great shops up here, you guys. This is where you, you guys need to come spend your money because it's they've got everything up here. And I think it'll leave you with everlasting memories of our beautiful town of Big Bear, Big Bear Lake. This one is called Oliver's Emporium, a gift store for dogs. That is so cool, that is so cool. What was this, yeah, Bear Skins. And then, once again, we've got uh, another real estate office, Remax. Let's see what we got in the window here. I don't really, uh, oh, some of these are absolutely gorgeous, but I can't really, uh, I wish I could afford even just like a bathroom in one of these places. But since I've moved up here eight years ago, guys, the prices in this town have skyrocketed since I moved here. <laughs> So that is kind of a bummer, but there's gonna be a huge crash in this year of 2023, I assure you. I'm not proud of that, I'm not at all, I, but for you guys who are looking to buy up here or rent, I'm telling you, by, the, by probably July or August, we'll be feeling it up here, guarantee you. We will be feeling it big time. Okay, and then Fire Rock. This restaurant right here, some of the best burgers in all of freaking Big Bear. If you guys go here, oh, you're totally good, man. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. That's cool, brother. Um, my friend Diego works here, and he is a really good guy. Once again, Fire Rock Burgers and Brews. If you guys come here, ask him to be your waiter and tell him you're my friend, and maybe he'll freaking take care of you guys. Great restaurant. As, as a matter of fact, my wife and I wrote our names on this board. I wonder if it's still on here. Nope. They, oh, they erased it all. You could write with chalk on all these things. And I put Nick Loves Rachel, just married. It was like a couple days after we got married. All right, and then one more time. Here is the North Pole, North Pole Fudge and Ice Cream Shop. I, oh, no, 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 apologies. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, very, very popular up here, um, even with the locals, but more so with the tourists um, and for very good reason. I'm just going to open the door quickly just so you guys can just peek inside here. They've got everything in here. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy or what? For my from my YouTube channel. Oh sweet. Called Big Bear Weather and More. Oh <laughs> Thanks. Guys. Thanks guys. Enjoy this place. It's wonderful. <laughs> Take care. That's really, really cool. I've already had a few 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 You're the weather guy, right? I I am the weather guy. 
Nice to meet you. Do you mind being? Go ahead. This is one of our our our, our, our videos. What's your name? Are you going to upload it? I am going to upload it. Yeah, come on with my wife. Amor. I would be honored. Babe, come Thank you for recognizing so, me, man. Yeah, yeah I, very, I love I love your videos. You don't mind if if you're up? Uh, I'm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Nick. Hi, Nick. Very nice to meet you guys. So, Nick is declares local weather guy, so so oh. he, he likes to upload videos talking about the weather. I just drive around the town nonstop, put a lot of gas and a lot of miles on my car, but it's uh, I, I I love my town, and. Uh, and I and, and 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 I love it more when we people come up and visit. Do you really? Mexico. Wow! Welcome, welcome. So you know my channel from Mexico. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> wow. That's thank you, thank you. That makes me feel very, 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 very good. How long are you staying? We're gonna be staying up to Sunday, and then we're going to Mission Beach. Mission Beach. Wow, down in San Diego. Yeah. Good for you guys. A couple of days. Freaking awesome, guys. This so. A couple of times we have brought our son to ski. Oh yeah. He's home now. Down in Mexico? Yeah. Where in Mexico? Mexico City and the city of Puebla. Puebla. Where, wow guys. Wow man. It's, it's a different state but it's like a two hour drive from Mexico City. Okay. Yeah. So you have a property in both places? Uh -huh. It's amazing. But tell us, is it going to snow or not? <laughs> not, not while you're here. Sadly, not while you're here, but uh, around the 13th and the 14th, it looks like we're going to get a few inches of snow. But uh, it's been a very strange year. Every prediction has been, it's going to snow a foot, and then we get one inch. Like, 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 nothing, nothing. It's very sad for me because I love the snow. So, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, it's, it's, I'm from Newport Beach. So I moved up here eight years ago. In, New in Newport Beach, we never get snow, <laughs> you know? The snow makes me happy through everything in life. Like, I, I can be going through the hardest thing life could throw my way, and the snow, I just brush it off, brush everything off, you know? So, well, guys, thank you for visiting our beautiful little town. It's an honor. It's an honor, Nick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys, too. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. Yeah. Safe travels to Mission Beach, guys. And back home, but come come back sooner. Okay, Once well, a year is not enough. <laughs> I agree. Thank, you. Thank you guys. Thank you for making this town special, you guys. Thank you. Super cool people, guys. They're from Mexico City and Puebla. They've got homes in both spots. That is awesome. That is awesome, guys. Right as I was meeting them, they had told me or I was gonna tell you guys already, a couple people have already recognized me on this little walk. So I'm like super, super shocked, my outreach. Okay, what is this place called? I don't know, what, oh, Saucy Mamas. That's right, Saucy Mamas. It's a great, 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 great spot. Seriously guys, very nice people. Thank you, thank you. You guys make it worth it for me every day to do what I do. So, so thank you, thank you. Are you live right now? I wish, no, no, but I am gonna upload it today. A hundred percent. Check it out, leave a comment for me. Please, please. At what time are you uploading? I would say it, it, it'll be ready to go by about 4.30 or five o'clock. Great guys, I expect to see a comment from you. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Bye. <laughs> very cool you guys, very, very, very cool. That's what this is all about, guys. So yeah, Saucy Mamas. I was, I was wondering if they had a, um, if they had a menu out here, but they do not. But I've heard good things about Saucy Mamas. Funny enough, I've never been there either. Okay, we're almost done with our village tour. I'm a little bit sad, but it is what it is. Here's a movie theater. This is our movie theater. I think we have a couple theaters in here, two or something like that. Or three, it looks like. So let's see here. This is the box office, but there's no there's no one waiting in the box. Village Theater North. I'm assuming we don't have another one, but maybe you know. Maybe we do. I don't know. 
Actually, I'm pretty sure that this is the only theater we got. Okay. Then Wheeler Stefan, Sotheby's International. Got some more properties for sale here. As I said, guys, I'm not trying to hurt any of our realtors or anything like that, but the prices are ridiculous for homes up here right now. Just ridiculous. I don't know where they they get off charging these types of prices for this town. It's a nice town, but it's it's not like Tahoe in terms of like some five-star amenities, this and that. It's a beautiful little town, but the prices have, for instance, since I moved here in 2015, the rents um, for most people that I know have more than doubled, just the rents. So you can imagine what the uh, price for the homes, what has happened. And then this is called the Social. This is a great, 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 great restaurant, outdoor bar. It's a super, super, super good place. I've actually been here one time and I treated my mom here many, many years ago when she came up to visit. Let's see here. So, so Social 572. I'm, 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 I'm assuming 572 is the address, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Yeah, it's a cute building as well. Oh, you're totally good. No, no, th thank you. Thank you. No, you're totally good. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's really cool. Everyone's so freaking polite. I love it. So, social f kitchen and lounge. How you doing, sir? Right on. All right. <laughs> I said hi. The guy just ignores us. Right as I'm saying, everyone's so polite up here but it is what it is. I'm a miserable dude half the time, but I still say hi when people say hi to me. Earth's elements. Let's see here. Selected items up to 50% off. So this place has a bunch of Earth's elements. <laughs> Coming back by the Big Bear Tattoo Shop and Peppercorn Grill. As I said, that is one of our nicest restaurants in town. They have a phenomenal steak right there. But yeah, this place right here is called the Boneyard Tap Room and, and Grill. They have amazing food here too. I, man, I keep, there's so many places that I haven't eaten in, in so long because I just can't afford to. It's not like it's super expensive, but it's not, it's not cheap. So here, I'll, I'll start up at the top. Then you guys can pause it and zoom in. I'll give it five more seconds and then I'll scroll down. Hope that helps. Hope that helps you guys. Good, what I remember about this place is phenomenal burgers. But guys, I'm a huge, huge fat burger guy. I love the burgers. Okay, so let's head down here a little bit more. Guys, we're almost done with this tour and I'm really sad. I don't want it to be over. Especially when, when people recognize me, it feels so good. <laughs> Once again, we're at the Big Bear Brewing Company over here. As I said, if you if you you, you, you go there, you gotta ch try the the avocado bombs. They're phenomenal. Oh yeah, great, great, great spot. Gelato and Treehouse. One of my neighbors actually is the manager here. I believe he still is. He's been here for like 15 plus years. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Take care. All right, so let's, let's see here. They have really good gelato there. I enjoy it a lot. SoCal Sweet Bear Village Inn. Okay, so guys, there's some sweets right here. You go through that door and there's a freaking a little hotel up there that I never knew existed until just recently. What I want to end, to end up doing, I would, I, I would probably if we wanted to do it in a timely fashion, be sponsored for it, but to stay in every single spot up here so I can record it for you guys, so you guys can see what to expect. No cars in the street, so we'll get a big pan out of this whole building. And guys, here we are, we are just about, we're done. Just about done, this is the village. We made it, we made it. Now we're gonna walk by Robin Hood Resort real quickly. El Hasselito 
we need to, my wife and I, we need to go in there and eat. Last time I ate there was with my professional boxing friend, Greg. Greg Holland. Dude is so cool, you guys. But yeah, this is the Robin Hood Resort. They have quite a few buildings. Check it out, many, many years ago when I was, I think in my mid twenties, first time, second time I, I stayed here, I came up both times with my friend John and in this building in the middle, we rented where that door is on the left. You, you go in and then there's a, a staircase and it's the hole upstairs with a hot tub inside and everything. It was so cool. It was snowing like crazy. Oh, I just loved it. Here, we're gonna, we're gonna cr cruise over here just to show you guys the whole, whole property for the most part. Right across the street there is also part of the resort. My favorite room is on that side of the street in that building in the center of the screen. You go up to the second floor and it's the furthest one to the right for this one to the right and it's a two-story room up on the second floor it's got a spiral staircase got a beautiful lake view um, this place also has a great restaurant you know what I'm not gonna sell them short they've been really good to me over time I'm not saying like giving me anything but I, I never asked for that stuff because I know these people work super hard and I'm just super grateful that they hook it up with a, a local price yeah, this is the Sherwood Forest part of the Robin Hood Resort. And the restaurant, which is really wonderful here, is called Nottingham's. You know, to finish the tour, we're gonna walk through that part that I just showed you guys. But yeah, that room is upstairs. It's that whole end part of the place with a huge loft, two-story room, beautiful place. I have that on video as well. Um, this is Nottingham's. So let's take a look at Nottingham's restaurant. Once again, I will hold the camera up here for about 10 seconds so you guys can pause it. And then I'll scroll down. Zoom in if you have to. Business hours, let's see this, Nottingham's restaurant business hours. There we go. Okay, so as I said, we're gonna walk through where it says to go check in. I actually called them a few days ago to see if they had for this last snowstorm Sunday and Monday available this last weekend so I could do my time lapse from here, but they didn't. It was sold out on Sunday, but they said Monday were available, but I didn't want to start my time lapse a day into the storm, but it didn't really snow much. So it doesn't really affect what I wanted to do anyway. So yeah, this is the patio, the outside patio. It doesn't look like they've done much snow removal on these tables because people are probably eating it, eating indoors, you can imagine. So yeah, I've stayed in probably seven or eight of these rooms here. Most of them have a hot tub inside. So it's super cool. And it's actually really, really, really nice here. And guys, by the way, when I got in my car accident in my uh, my, my Subaru Crosstrek, the lady works here. I felt so bad. I felt so bad. She was so nice about it too. I felt so bad. It's my first car accident ever and it was my fault. I wasn't paying attention. I ran right into the back of her. But anyway, guys, it's February 2nd, 2023. I appreciate you guys sharing this experience with me if bobby is working we're gonna stop at the liquor store across the way i don't see his vehicle so he's not here today but uh if you guys go into this liquor store his name's robert bobby call him one of those two names. I don't know which one he likes best. He answers to both of them, so he's a great guy. He's one of the guys who made me feel really comfortable up here when I first moved here. So anyway, guys, that's the village. We're back where we started. Big Bear Village. 
Thank you guys for taking this tour with me. I hope you enjoyed it. It's the whole village. It's February 2nd, 2023 in the Big Bear Lake, California area. Please everybody come up here and enjoy yourselves. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section. I would love to be able to answer questions for you guys. And those of you who are cruising up here, I'd love to give you the best experience possible. I'm still learning about this town also and trying to do the best I can to be as knowledgeable for you guys as possible. So we're on Big Bear Boulevard right here. Oh, here we go. We're gonna cross right here. So we're gonna do this all the way to the car and we're good. At the post office, I think I'm gonna stop in here real quickly. And also, if anyone is watching still, please hit the like and subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Um, after eight years, I decided to start asking you guys that I've never asked once for eight years and 3,000 videos. So maybe I've earned it after all this time of never ever asking you guys. But uh, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave me comments. I answer everyone's comments and I don't just copy and paste. I, I care. I care about you guys. The comments are what make me keep on, make me want to keep on doing this because they're so beautiful. So thank you guys for everything. I love you guys a lot. I really love you guys a lot. Thank you for all, all the support. You guys really, really are my family. There's no question in my mind that I finally found my real family and I love you guys to death. Like, subscribe and have a great rest of your day. Take care guys from Big Bear Lake, California. We will see you later.